Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for Thursday, November 9, 2023, the left of 3.15 p.m. Eastern. Having a reverse aging health call Friday, tomorrow night, around 9 p.m. The level of our success is limited only by our imagination. So it's what you believe. So you could have one person that believes that uh, anything's possible. And you can have another person that believes is that some things are possible. Right? And then you have the extremist that believes nothing is possible. Everything is automatic and it, you have to follow that direction because it's all the only choice you have. In the beginning of any truly awesome adventure in life, we first need a reason or motivation for going. We need a desire to move us forward no matter what challenges or obstacles may come our way. Find the enlightened manifester within you is like finding a secret palace in the Himalayan mountains that is entirely made of gold and blue diamonds. There is every possibility on this journey that you will be stopped, feel blocked, become deeply distracted by something more appealing along the way. It is a great chance that you will be enticed with seeing something so seductive and exciting that you may forget that the Golden Palace existed at all. I think it was just some far-off fantasy and call off your entire search to find it. Has that happened to anyone? I think it's happened to a lot of us where we, we have a set path, right? We're going to do it. I'm going to do this. Along the way, you get some distractions, but you're able to overcome them. They're walk through them. Not too big of a deal. But then as you get deeper and deeper, you're faced with enormous distractions, seductive, seducing distractions. And you kind of, it starts to pull you. And your main direction is interrupted because you have this other thing that's drawing you really strongly. And you just, then you just forget about your path, your direction, and you embrace that. And it's because you, you forget that the Golden Palace existed at all. You think it was just some off, far-off fantasy and call off your entire search to find it to gather up motivation, energy, and discipline for this 52-mile mountainous adventure on foot, you first need to dive deep inside yourself. Ask for real guidance. Start right now with looking within and asking to meet with your unstoppable true nature. If you wish to discover a truly magical life that you love, the first destination is to go deep within you and find that which does not die, which is what? The pure consciousness, the God that we are, that we all are. The journey into the core of our being, to some may seem impossible, since we are already there in some way. Yet it is the discovery that always continues to reveal itself in a new outrageous way. The finding of our deepest inner truth, our authentic self, and our real true nature is one that we will cherish for lifetimes. When we find our greatest potentiality, every other goal in life seems pale in comparison. This adventure into the core of you, where you'll reveal your soul's unlimited energy, is the same place you'll discover the divine power to reap the harvest of your life's greatest dreams. Everything you see, everything, everything you see, 
is the result of your thoughts. There is no exception to this fact. A Course in Miracles. That's so true. So factual. Everything you see is the result of your thoughts. There is no exception to this fact. Set the intention right now to dive deeper into your innermost core this week. And that each day you'll be going deeper than you've ever gone before. You'll need to know and trust that you can truly relax and be quiet enough to find it. It is the energy of trust that is essential for our highest experience of existence. Totally trusting the process, relaxation, and letting go of resistance to it is absolutely necessary. It is that free soul who has unlimited perceptions about reality and no limits on what is actually possible and impossible. The type of mind has to trust existence to survive. This type of mind has to trust existence to survive. To access the most magical foundation within our being, we simply need to do the easiest thing in the world. Relax and become very still. You'll need to let go of all of your efforting and just do nothing. There's a lot of people in many ways try too hard. They try too hard. And the reason, see, and they see, they, and then they kind of, they start to feel like they failed and things aren't working like they're supposed to work in their minds. And everything's going wrong and nothing works. And, and at the same time, they're literally the ones manifesting it. Isn't that wild? They're the ones manifesting it. And then they become angry and defensive because of the fact that they're manifesting it. Instead of saying, I'm actually manifesting this. So I'm negating or blocking the abundance the well-being, everything that comes to me on a 24-7 basis, I'm blocking it. I've got a shield up there, and it's just bouncing off of it. When we simply practice letting go, letting everything in this universe be exactly the way it is, you will feel a subtle calm sensation in your heart, and something will tell you that everything is perfectly okay. Eventually, the mind will relax and find peace, which will allow us to rest, fall into the innermost core of our being. The most amazing things manifest in this life the very moment we get our mind out of the way, open ourselves up to being fully in this eternal moment of now. For some people, a universal understanding of life instantly begins flooding the mind. Our body may feel tight and tense right now, yet when we relax into the innermost center of our being, we will find that all tension instantly melts away. The key is to learn how to relax deeper into the now and trust that your soul's true infinite existence will guide you, show you the way to let go and find a greater trust in this life. When we trust that this universe, when we trust that this universe never makes mistakes, that it knows no limits to how far it reaches into you, and it's always creating everything totally perfect in every way. Then you start to see that this life is divinely perfect, exactly as it is. When you realize the perfection that life already contains, then you will stop fighting it 
We fight it. Most of us on this planet are fighting life every single waking moment and sleeping. We fight life. Then can become pretty draining, frustrating, irritating. And it's all about trusting. We begin to see that, that this life is divinely perfect exactly as it is. We aren't, we aren't making judgments. We aren't cutting the life down. We aren't saying, woe well, is be. Why can't this be? Why can't that be? And when we realize the perfection that life already contains, then we will stop fighting it. It is only through the energy of trusting in the divine perfection that we can relax all internal efforting and dive deep enough inside ourselves to access the innermost core of our being. The center of our being is where all our real power is found. All of our real power, not the illusionary stuff. It is our real magic, wand, that can create anything we desire. It is the place where this entire universe we are creating in each moment is designed. Most of us would not believe that we actually create universes. We create them. But the mind is too small of a container to even comprehend this. When we go to where the source of where our thoughts are radiating from, we become the source of life itself. That's very important. When we go where, to where the source, where our thoughts are radiating from, our thoughts, not other people's thoughts, we become the source of life itself. The day we are in touch with the core of what we are, we will be able to grow new roots of stability in our life, branch out into the skies of our true unlimited potentiality. And from the Bhagavad Gita, know that the self is the rider and the body the chariot. The intellect is the charioteer. The mind, the reins. The senses, say the wise, are the horses. The roads they travel are the mazes of desire. The wise call the self the enjoyer when it is united with the body the senses, and the mind. Our magical core is buried deep and is hidden beneath layers of beliefs, memories, and ideas about who we are. It is not necessarily at the core of our physical body, yet is at the core of our being. To find this place, our body must be totally relaxed and at ease, naturally. When this occurs, our mind and all of its layers of thoughts fall away. We must choose to totally be willing to surrender to this experience of our life in this now moment for total relaxation to take place. When the mind simply lets go of all of its planning, scheming, and efforting, our body naturally becomes completely at ease and our core presents itself to us. It's good to know that our mind is our ticket to prison or to freedom. By understanding that we don't know everything there is to know just Yet, we open our mind to an entirely new world of possibility. One of them is that we are living in a super powerful manifesting vehicle in a multidimensional infinite universe which has unlimited potentiality and energy to create anything. Let this idea open your mind right now. Drop all limited perceptions 
you used to have about what is possible and what is not. This is the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. To be open to the to, to that anything is possible. Allow this moment to sink down into your body. Follow it into your deepest innermost essence where you can relax and connect with the most fertile soil, your soul. We have been taught by programming, other people's, pro, other people's thoughts, programming, many different things. But you see, there's a cycle. And we're all, most of us are caught in a cycle, lifetime after lifetime. So we're told things. We have no comparisons to make because we don't remember. We have temporary amnesia. So we, we embrace thought, other people's thoughts that come in. You know, what they say, what their opinions are, what their advice is. And of course, they received much of that programming from other people's thoughts. So we could go on for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Now, the core essence, our essence, our reality, is the only place we can experience the truth of who we really are. It is where we will know ourselves as divine. It is not it's not thought, okay? It's not through a new idea presented by the mind that we will uncover this awesome discovery. It is only through the heart of our presence, the spiritual source of you, where you can reveal the only thing that is truly real. This is not hard to do. It's a simple exploration that only a childlike curiosity can handle. To look deeply inside you. You are this true essence already. It is what you've been searching for your entire life. It is so close to you that if you're using the mind at all, you will miss it. Now, this profound inner experience does not happen by thinking about it or trying to make it happen. In fact, it's just the opposite. You drop into it and you have let go of all efforting, completely stopped thinking, and simply start resting and relaxing into your innermost being. It's not through your head that the real answers in this life are found, but your heart, that you can experience enlightenment. A cosmic creative energy rushes in the instant we let go of using our brain to try to attain it and relax our body into whatever we are right now. Now, we may not understand this completely, Yet the greatest opportunity of a lifetime is simply to be here now. When we allow this moment to sink into our body, we become complete with this life. And life becomes complete with us. We instantly fall into ourselves again and again and again we discover that our deepest innermost essence was always here. And to connect with it is as simple as passing a rake over the fertile soil, which is your soul. Simply reach down, touch the dirt, you'll discover the magical core of your being instantly. You can instantly realize that you are and always were intimately connected with an all-powerful intelligent energy that is already helping you manifest everything you desire. 
You are already magical. You are already a manifesting being who is simply conditioned and programmed by parents, siblings, schools, teachers, TV, media, to think you were not. If you notice most of the things that we're programmed with on this planet, take us away from who we really are. Once we know that we are very powerful, we don't have to exercise this power. We can simply manifest anything we want at any moment because we are this power. Since most people around us are most likely still asleep to this knowledge, it will take every bone in our body to create the strength needed to wake ourselves up completely to it. Almost every human being on this planet becomes lost in the illusions and beliefs of others. We came into this incarnation with blinding past karma to clear away and are thus deeply unaware that there is a great divine source emanating already within our very being. A great divine source. When the mind is habitually distracted by thoughts, constantly getting lost in a vast sea of things, ideas, future concepts, and memories, it forgets the real reason we are here. Find the golden castle hidden deep in the hills. Yet sometimes, even though we may think we are sidetracked, we have not totally forgotten the possibility that there is a great power inside us in this now moment. And we are almost all the way home. We just need to make it our number one priority if we wish to access it 24 hours a day. The only way we could possibly miss finding the magical core of our being is by being distracted by some thought inside the mind. There are many things that the mind believes is more amazing and will do anything to get you there. It will want to work harder to get you there, and yet once it arrives, it will doubt that you have arrived. When you are living up in your head, like most of the people on this planet, always following the mind, imagining this and that, you will feel lost. This is normal and the right experience for those who live in between their ears. When we are connecting with our innermost magical being, the mind seems like a dirty, thirsty desert, and we are already swimming in the vast ocean. When we've arrived at our magical core, we will notice that the images in our mind will change yet we always feel connected at our core to the source of this life. We will feel free from the mind, and yet able to use the mind to redirect us back into this magical core essence of who and what we are. We are pure consciousness, pure light energy, pure cosmic, pure energy. We are the essence of all creation and life. We create universes, star systems, solar systems, galaxies. We create them. This is all of the life forms inhabited by gods throughout existence and beyond, beyond pure consciousness. And look what happens when we're convinced that we're none of that. Accessing our magical core is not about creating a new experience of you or a bigger understanding of who you are. It's more simple than that. It's all about diving into what your experience of this life is, as it is right now. You don't realize how much you are trapped up in your head. Thoughts are always flying by. And 
Most of us are still attempting to deal with them. Do not touch the thoughts. Don't touch them. Just watch them like they're clouds far, far away. When life gives us a great challenge, such as how to master our mind, the best way we can meet this divine opportunity is to just feel calm, relaxed, and at ease inside. Know that practicing this in itself will master the mind. The day we can remain truly relaxed all the way to our core, all day long, then we will know we have arrived. The magical core of our innermost being is found through this infinite dive deeper and deeper and deeper inside you. It is the most sacred and awesome thing we can explore with our life in this universe. Reality comes shining through. When we return to what is real, the innermost core of our being is actually the only thing that is real. Everything else is transitory. Mind and its excessive worry-filled imagination was our everyday reality, yet could change as swiftly into a cosmic consciousness with our next breath of air. All it needs is a tiny opening in the door of our being. The very moment our mind has found the source of stillness inside, we will know this truth. This innermost core of our being is the final frontier. We are here to explore. All the, at the core of you is the spiritual source of existence. It is what gives us life, breathes life through us. It is the reason for all enjoyment, pleasure, freedom from suffering. It is what we really are when the continuous mind chatter gets quiet. When we truly explore the source, from where every little thought arises, we simply experience a unique yet eternal expression of ourself. Well, we'll call our beingness. The result is absolute freedom and the realization that we always had the option to be free from suffering. And we'll have that option forevermore. When we do arrive at the core of our being, we authentically feel in touch with everything in this life. There is this 100% honest relationship that naturally happens with others, and we cannot lie to anyone or anything. We are with ourselves in a way that we can only speak our greatest possible truth. If we would lie about something, we would instantly feel a great disconnect and subtle pain with our core. A small fib makes us feel a million miles away from home and living on some imaginary cloud made of unstable thoughts. It is only when we speak our truth, dive into feeling the truth of who we are, and live from this radical honesty that the magical core is naturally revealed. Receptivity is your personal effort. You must choose not to do anything else, for in fact, you can't do anything else. If we are standing in darkness and do our part by opening the door, the light rushes in to meet us, Vernon Howard. We are living in a world filled with energy, filled, packed with it, and information that is extremely impermanent and constantly changing. Our body, our house, our kids won't look the same in 10 years, will they? Not to mention the next 40 years. Unless we establish a deep connection with the spiritual source of infinite energy inside, once we do, 
our body will exist in a state of absolute health and vitality forever. 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 Just look at our great ancestors. They did, they did this. They lived to be over 900 years old. 1,000. 1,500. 3,000. If you don't believe me, check it out. The unlimited potential energy is always inside us at the core. And it is really for us to reveal ourselves to it right now. Massive positive change begins with one simple choice. The decisions to relax deeply into the experience we're having right now. Once we consciously and continuously choose this, we can release our rushing habit and lifestyle that believes there is something better than here now. Only then can we access the ability to give ourselves permission to relax. When we have no concept of time and are truly honoring the timeless eternal being that we are, we can actually relax into the core of our innermost being. Notice how you push and pull against time in your life. How do you force life to be something other than what you are? How are your relationships with people, situations, money, job, and yourself is it stressful? How often do you go with the flow or struggle to move upstream? Notice what your relationship is like with time and what type of relationship with time that you can have that will truly satisfy you. If you are used to thinking, how can I get more of XYZ and get away from ABC? then you'll never find that golden palace with its diamond floors and walls. Even when your desires get manifested, the ego is pleased momentarily. What does it feel like to release the idea that our desires need to be achieved at a certain time, moved into the present moment of feeling what is my experience of life in this now moment? When we are simply here now, the blissful peace and magical stillness arises within our very being. When the mind is silent, not asking but receiving life, the shakti energy has nowhere else to go but into us because we are now here in stillness. We can maintain the deep stillness inside for several weeks, months, or even years, depending on how much internal, mental, and emotional negative thinking habits we've stopped analyzing and repressing on the inside and started letting them fully go as they arise. By abiding in this space of stillness inside, something magical occurs along the way. We start being our dreams and desires become manifested before our very eyes. By staying present to the now, paying close attention to the innermost core of our being, watching the mind play out its drama and not being attached to the scenes, we become an exotic master of our life. The twisted truth of all of this is that if and when we can just relax, we simply cannot meet the magical core of our innermost being. Now, there may be lifetimes of issues in your way. Yet you don't have to figure them all out to drop into a state of relaxation inside. Once we realize that our mind has been working so hard trying to achieve so much 
in the outer world by strategizing, analyzing, constantly efforting, we simply let it go. Then we just relax into our core. You see the powerful manifester we already are. Sometimes our innermost magical core may be buried underneath layers of resistance that cannot be easily moved. Yet, we can start to uncover the surface by asking ourselves those things that we most need to know. Try on these questions. See how they hit you. How can you best contribute to others on this planet? What can you do to make a life purely enjoyable all the time? What changes can you make in you so that your love life really shines? When you start to dig inside you, find out why you are here, what your contribution is to this world, you'll have to pass by that which is already at the innermost core of your being. The bigger the truth, is that every obstacle in our life is a ticket home to ourself. Whether we like our life or not is always a choice of perception and attitude towards it. When we set aside those negative fear-based thoughts that have been sending our mind into doubt, worry, skepticism, and consciously move closer to this place of a quiet mind within ourself, we will relax once we relax into the softness, most gentle, quietest place. We'll soon find the innermost core of our being. When we are able to clearly be quiet, speak our truth, and not be afraid of our greatest energy, we will wake up in the golden castle realize that we were living here all along. Knowledge of the self is the mother of all knowledge. So it is incumbent on me to know myself, to know it completely, to know its minute its characteristics, its subtleties, and its very atom, Khalil Gibran. In this moment, in your body right here and now, look inside for as the source of your thoughts. Where is this thought coming from? Keep looking within. Do not give up. Eventually, you'll connect with your spiritual source. Does this place feel more connected to the core of your innermost being? It's where you get to shape and redirect the experiences you want to create. What would your week look like if you started every day from this space inside your being? that it is all powerful and conscious all the time. Now here, during the quiet time of this meditation, right, And what these meditations do is that they reveal your innermost core. So you sit very still. Breathe consciously. In other words, you're focused on your breath. Say the word, ah, for 10 to 15 minutes. That's all you do, okay? Let the sound come out each time as if it were a long sigh of great relief. Relax inside your body. Let your mind gently quiet. 
release any need to do this release any need to do this exercise right or in a certain amount of time or whatever the mind may tend to dwell on. Meditate on these four words. Your mind wanders, unfocused, mind experience presence. These are the four words. Okay? When your mind wanders, the words that you state, unfocused, mind experiencing presence. Practice this twice a day for the next three weeks. Let go of your agenda and know this is the most magical transformational thing any of us can do to awaken our life. So you, you literally sit very still, breathe consciously, say the word ah for 10 to 15 minutes. Let the sound come out each time as if it were a long sigh of great relief. We're not talking about you maintain ah for 10 to 15 minutes, but you repeat it through the time. That's all you do. And you let the sound come out each time as it were, as if it were a long sigh of great relief. Relax inside your body. Let your mind gently quiet. Release any need to do this exercise right. Like when you say, oh, am I doing this right? Just relax. Or in a certain amount of time, or whatever the mind may tend to dwell on. Meditate on these four words when your mind wanders. Unfocused mind experiencing presence. Practice this twice a day for the next three weeks. Let go of your other agenda and know this is the most magical transformational thing any of us can do to awaken our life. Join you in the meditation. I'll return to close us out.
take an easy and slow breath in through the nose and an easy and slow breath out from the mouth. Remain still. You know you're an awakening being when in the midst of chaos and suffering you are completely at ease. To arrive at this divine destination for 30 minutes today, meditate on a vast space of nothingness all around you. Do this in complete silence. Just imagine that you are somewhere way out in the universe and for billions of miles in all directions there is emptiness. Put in Put on an eye mask and earplugs if necessary so you don't see or hear anything. This spacious space is always available inside you. If you truly want to awaken the spiritual experience in your life, I invite you to dive into this spacious, silent space place for as long as you can today. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night the following morning. We will return here Friday, November 10, 2023, 3.15 p.m. Eastern to continue our global guided meditation call, then around 9.15 p.m. Eastern to continue our reverse aging health call. Gentle, kind, generous, humble with yourself at all times. Be in the highest of the highest, high, deepest of the deepest, deepest, and purest of the purest, purest, eternal gratitude at all times, no matter what's going on outside of you or within you. 